and welcome to the super fun awesome happy time pedal show my name is Gabor and it's time for some more unboxing so this just arrived uh, all the way from Italy from the awesome people at IK multimedia so let's open it up all right so inside we have Inside we have the X drive and the X space, and there's your thumbnail. One of those. Uh, okay, X drive. Let's see. Put it there. And X space. Now they look pretty cool. Uh, so if you've watched the channel for a little while, you know that I've worked with um, IQ Multimedia with Amplitude stuff in the past. And uh, the awesome people at IQ Multimedia, Tia and everyone there, hi Tia, uh, they said they were going to send us these two and the other two will follow. So uh, eventually all four of these pedals um, will be on the channel. You'll see videos on all four of them. And I thought I'll quickly unpack them today, unbox them and plug them in for the first time without looking at any manuals, anything like that. I've watched a couple of little videos that uh, some of the other guys, other YouTubers, guys that went to 42 Gear Street, um, hi Henning, uh, yeah, people that went there and that's, those pedals were there uh, and I've watched a couple of their videos but I, I don't really know how to use it or anything and I'm not going to look at manuals. Uh, there will be full videos of both pedals or I think there'll be a couple of videos with both pedals with me and Alex when I actually know what I'm talking about but uh, let's just do which one first. Let's go X drive first. So let's get it out of the box. It's a snug fit. Oh, it's not just a snug fit. It's a sticky tape fit. All right. So the X-Drive, of course, is the distortion unit. Oh, come on. It is a snug fit. Sticky taped and snug. I don't want to rip it. Oh, come on. Oh. Here we go. Oh, very snug fit. Uh, so it looks like that. This is back to front. Okay, let's put that there. Let's open it up. Let's see what it looks like in the box. Oh. Okay. That's what the pedal looks like. Let's get rid of this straight away. Uh, here we are. Now they look nice and they feel, gotta say, feel sturdy. Let's see what else is in here. So it comes with, and I'm not 100% sure if mine's slightly different to what everyone else gets, if I get like a pre-production thing, because I think they haven't actually officially been released yet. Um, but anyway, so it comes with a power supply. Just nine volt. Um, let's put that aside for now. Comes with feet. It comes with a register and download amplitude X drive, your product code, and all that sort of stuff. So you can. Comes with an X gear brochure, and it comes with the X drive instructions or sort of first. Yeah, I'm not going to look at any of that. No instructions, no nothing. So let's put that aside. That's the first one. Uh, oh, this is a super snug fit. Looks good though. Okay, now let's go for the other one, the reverb. Uh, okay, let's do the same thing with this. I gotta imagine it's exactly the same, just more blue. Yep, there we are. So same thing. Blue pedal. Oh, this is a much more snugly fit. Oh, there's something really nice about that. And again, here's your register, product re registration thing and a power supply. But let's not worry about all that now. So. Let's have a look at these two. So basically, we've got 
Uh, so as far as I know, uh, 16 algorithms in both 16 different pedals. Let's actually, it says it on the back, doesn't it? So we've got 16 studio class algorithms from vintage sound to pristine spaces. That's the X space. Uh, I'm pretty sure uh, both of them, you can use them uh, via USB uh, as audio interfaces as well. They've got full MIDI. So this one's got stereo in and out, expression pedal control, MIDI in and out. USB and a 9 volt, volt power supply. Now let's have a look at this one. Is this one stereo as well for the drive? No. This one is... Ah, okay, Cap Simmer. Oh yeah, so I've heard about that. I think this one may have that as well. It has built-in Cap Sim, so you can use it. Uh, it has a uh, couple of different amp sims in it, and you can use it going direct. So we're going to try it out eventually as well. But you've got input, output, Cap Sim out, headphones out, MIDI in and out, uh, an external control so I think you can either put another foot switch in to scroll through banks and stuff or expression pedal and all that sort of stuff uh, oh yeah and then you've got oh so here it says all, what they all are so you've got modern metal it's really reflective in here modern metal monarch cat orange yellow green diode blue booster high boost or H boost crush octafuzz purple fuzz face and big fuzz that's what that's got and this one has shimmer one, shimmer two, hall, room, chamber, church, plate, spring, swell, gate, reverse, early ref, extreme, ethereal, bloom, and magnetic. And those are pushable buttons. It feel oh, and this is like a stepped encoder. Let's do that on here. That one's like a, this one is kind of like a stepped encoder, whereas these ones aren't. They're just normal. That's a stepped and they're stepped. Is it the same here? Yeah. Okay. Um, switches feel good. It feels well made. It, it, it feels quality. It feels good. So how about I'm going to plug it in quickly and do quick first impressions with both. Uh, like I said, full video is coming, but I'll just plug it in there. So I'm all plugged in now. I've got the X drive going into the X space, going into the angle iron ball SE. Uh, set to clean, which then go, goes, well, actually first it goes into the Mastronics amp switcher that has the angle selected, uh, that has the two notes torpedo live selected with uh, some Celestion Plus IRs, which look like this. Um, and there's affiliate links uh, down below if you want to buy some Celestion Plus IRs. Uh, you don't have to buy the ones I'm using, but if you click on that link and buy any Celestian IRs via that link, that helps out the show. Uh, and as a guitar, just to begin with anyway, I'm using my Fano Omnis MG6. So that going into a fairly clean angle iron ball SE uh, sounds like this. A little edge of breakup because they're very high up a pickup. Okay, so let's just try. Uh, I haven't touched anything yet. First preset, Jupiter. Sounds cool. Okay, next preset. Just fuzz. Sounds cool to me. So 
Uh, I guess it shows you, as I click the preset, it shows you, so that uses uh, modern, number one, that's uh, purple, number 14, and that one's two. Okay, and then you go bank up, is those two. Okay. Crunch, well there you go. That's, I mean, it's that's pretty straightforward. <laughs> Just the presets, they sound good. Uh, Octoman. That's cool. Which one was that? That was Octofuzz, of course. Uh, 80s. Rock. Let's twist some other knobs. What does that do? Oh, that goes. That scrolls through the presets. Okay, so what's oh, what's light? Okay, driven solo metal one, metal two. Sweet cat. Ooh, angry cat. Cat, I wonder if that's a rat. Possibly. Um, Crayle. Okay, so we've got a sweet cat, angry cat, crazy cat. This one type thing, orange two. Presets, they will sound quite different from amp to amp, but so far I think it sounds really good.
So there's, I guess there's always three presets for each pedal. tracking but I mean Octavus usually don't track that well. Face like purple, purple haze. Oh, no, okay, fuzz that must be fuzz. Yeah, big mouth. Just a quick look at all the, at some of the presets. Let's have a quick look at some of the reverb presets. Uh, so clean again, the amp, just the amp. Glitter. Reverse reverb, that's cool. Big space. <laughs> Long tails. Uh, I'm just running this in mono uh, too at the moment. So uh, the full videos will be in stereo, but um, I'm just running this in mono at the moment just for the um, first impressions. <laughs>
That's lovely. Enigma. <laughs> It's got some weird and wonderful harmonies in it. Uh, hall A. It's a big hall. Let's do a couple more. Cha uh, ooh, chamber one. And the next one, I like the next one, huge. Well, spring, uh, hang on, spring. Well, then the next one, summer. Follower. Gate. Oh, cool. That's good. Ooh, glass. Flower. That's huge. Uh, okay, well, let's hang on. Let's find one that's just a bath. Okay, now what is, does this one do? Oh, that just goes through the different... Oh, magnetic. Got. 
So you got up to a second of milli uh, of pre uh, a, a second of pre delay. <laughs> Color, ooh, modulation. That sounds great, beautifully modulated. And then I guess you got mix from all drums. All dry to all wet. Uh, and then, I mean, what else do we have here? There's parameters. Uh, okay, so you've got, okay, so you click on it and then, oh, okay, so there, okay. So I'm gonna say you have your normal parameters or well, these are the most common ones, time, pre-delay, color, mod modulation, and mix. But if you click on this, you can search, so there's modulation rate, modulation color. Oh, there's the only two. And then you click on it and then you can select it. Okay, so these are extra uh, parameters. Uh, hold for setup. Preset setup, preset five. Global setup. Oh, oh, preset setup or global setup. Okay, what well, can you do in global setup? Name mode, external control. Okay, so you can, I guess, select what you want. Expression pedal. Different switches, dual switches. Okay, so this gives you different um, options for that. Expression calibration, MIDI channels, MIDI through main volume oh interface okay so both of these can be used as an interface as well oh, this fell asleep both of these can be used as an interface as well so um you can just plug it straight into the computer well i'll do a video on all that as well uh oh cap sim oh should i quickly very quickly i'm going to plug this straight into the interface now without an amp and we're just going to quickly look at cap sim why not Okay, so I now turned the, the, the amps off or on standby. So I've got a cable, this cable, uh, going straight into the interface. Uh, so this is just a straight direct signal. Now on, on the ca cap sim setting, cap one. Still works while this is off. Actually, let's have a quick look. Okay, let's go back to off. What does a drive sound? So this is just a drive going directly in. So that's just a straight sound. Let's see what the cap sim sounds like. If I'm doing it right, let's pick one that sounds right. Okay, we don't want caps. What else is there? Bass. Oh, there's a bass one. Okay, let's go. One's probably the one I like the best. Okay, let's see what it sounds like with that on. Hang on, it's probably a bit quiet. So let's set it up a bit. Oh, 
sounds all right. Oh, that sounds much better. Oh, it just seems very quiet. Hang on, I gotta turn it up a bit here. That sounds pretty good, actually. Good, and then we can now introduce, I'm guessing, reverbs. Okay, that oh, so I think the cap thing, caps, cap thing. May only be preset by preset. Oh, I'm not sure. quickly try I'm not sure if I'm doing it right on this on this one hang on if I unplug that the third one the third output this one is the capsim output so this should now be with the capsim because it's using the capsim output <laughs> louder. Okay, let's see if I can find a capsim in here. Oh no, you gotta hold it in. Global setup, global setup. Name mode. Skip it. No, it was there on the other one. Uh, I really need to look at the manual, I think, for all this stuff. How do I go back to... Okay. Ooh, what am I doing now? <laughs> Preset setup? Oh, is, oh, is this here by presets? What does that do? No. Not sure how that works. I'm probably doing it all wrong. Uh, i got to look it up. Um, but anyway, I mean, that was sort of a quick first look at a bunch of presets. Uh, let me know if there's anything in particular you want me to have a look at uh, with those two. Um, and then I believe the modulation and the delay will come eventually at some stage too. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure what I'm doing because I haven't read the manu uh, looked at the manual. Uh, expect a full video on, or a couple of full videos on both, using them as interfaces, uh, using them uh, with the built-in cap sims, direct out. Uh, okay, so that goes back to... Okay, that just goes back to the... Yeah, to those. Okay, cool. Um, Sorry, getting sidetracked. Uh, yeah, so expect full videos on each, couple of full videos on each pedal, using them um, as an interface, using them with the cap sim, using them in stereo into an amplifier, uh, also stereo with a cap sim. We'll find out what it sounds like. So, uh, and expression pedals, hooking up different expression pedals. There'll be tons of this. Uh, I think I mentioned it just before as well. Let me know in the comments below if there's uh, anything in particular you want me to do with them. Um, yeah. Thank you so much to the awesome people at IK Multimedia. Thank you so much for watching this quick 
unboxing and first impressions and um, see you soon.